Namaste, I'm Deborah Cohen, and in this video we're going to talk about the three Vanda locks, and they are really helpful at activating Kundalini. They are um, my teachers in India, they call that uh, when we engage the Vanda locks, it advances our pranayama technique. And so it's more for an advanced student, but I want to make you aware of it because when my kundalini engages, my locks will sometimes engage. And so it's helpful to know if something's happening to your body that it's actually, wow, you know, my, I have these, this real energy field and, and it's being activated just like, um, our brain is working our digestive system and our heart and is doing all these functions that we're not aware of and conscious about. Um, there's also um, energy can be activated without our conscious effort. And so that's what's amazing um, about raising Kundalini as it engages, it helps us to clear out our blockages, it empowers our chakra system, and it helps us to live a more fully human life according to our soul's purpose. So um, it really helps us to live our divine soul purpose um, and empowers us to do so and, and helps us to lead more from the heart. So the Banda locks, there's three of them. Like I said, there's one at the base of the spine known as the Mula, Mula Banda lock. And then there's... Um, the Uddiyana Banda Lock, and that's, um, so if you see the pictures of yogis where their, um, their stomachs pulled in, you can see all their ribs popping out, they're doing the um, um, Uddiyana Banda Lock. And then there's the Yalandara, the Jalandara Lock in the neck, in the throat, and what that is, is it's like you're, it's not that you're dropping your jaw down, but you're lengthening out the neck of the throat and you're, it's like if someone pushed on your head, they wouldn't be able to move your head because your neck is being engaged and your sternum is lifted up as your chest drops, as your shoulders drop down and you're pulling your jaw slightly and you, you don't want to, you know, press your jaw down because it constricts your throat's breathing okay but the jaw do, does come in on the jaw and dar lock and so um so the idea when you're doing ujjayi breath is on the inhale you're engaging the first lock now the first lock a lot of times a yoga teacher will say activate maybe your kegel muscle or you know the muscles in the perineum um again we're trying to get you to kind of know the muscular system and and to try to activate it and and same with the um second lock in the abdomen to suck in the abdomen and so when you inhale it's like you're lifting up and through the pelvic floor and then that energy comes up and then this your neck lock is always locked and that and what i love about the neck lock is it's like it's like you really aren't thinking about the breath it's like the breath is automatically going into the heart center it's almost like the heart is breathing you when you keep that neck locked when you inhale and it's it just becomes this it's like your body becomes this machine um when you engage the neck lock and then um and then there's this lift in through the perineum and then when you exhale now the exhale is really an amazing exhale so you think when you're working with a digestive digestive spire <laughs> i'm getting tongue-tied digest these are not easy concepts to understand but so the fire in your digestion when you inhale flares down to the base of your spine where the kundalini is lying dormant okay and and then we also have many impurities in our first and second chakra and so the digestive fire is flaring down on the inhale 
And then on the exhale, the exhale is really important because it's like we're pulling out like a vacuum all of those impurities and engaging Kundalini rising. And so when you engage all the, all the locks, it really helps to create that energetic effect of pushing down the, the Agni or fire, digestive fire, to the base of the spine. And then as you exhale, then we pull in that Uddiyanda Bandha lock is really pulling in. And so, so there's that feeling of the belly button pushing into the lower back and up underneath the bio diaphragm. So it's, it's a powerful, like sucking in action and then pulling, using that digestive fire to lift up and release all those impurities. So, um, the goddess can take those impurities and, um, uh, recirculate them and heal them, um, and send it back to the earth. So, so the system is a way and a lot of times uh, there are yoga practices that try to get you to engage all these <laughs> these bundle locks the system this locking system while you're doing um, posture and it's really helpful because if all these posture all these locks are engaged it's it's just almost impossible to hurt yourself because um, it's very protective for your body, your body's back, and just all your, it's, it's just really difficult to overdo a posture um, if you have all these locks engaged. But the problem is, it's not easy to do. It takes a lot of practice, all right? This is not something you learn right away. Unless you're really dedicated yogi and you're able to like automatically go on a month long yoga teacher training and and it's and those are intense trainings. I'll tell you, they are a lot of work and a lot of dedications. They are at least eight to ten or more hours every single day, and so that's the kind of dedication you would need to kind of get all this down right away. But I think if you're you know because you're taking my training system, this is something that I want you to be aware of because, like I said, you know when the Kundalini does ignite and rise you might have spontaneous locking and you might just all of a sudden want to go into meditation breathe a certain way and um and and wonder wow what's going on and i hope i can answer any questions like if you do have any questions about this it's not a, it's like i said it's not a simple system it's complicated and it takes practice so so when you inhale, you engage all your locks. And then there's a lift in through the perineum as you inhale. And then as, and your neck is always locked. And then as you exhale, the belly kind of like you're scooping ice cream out of, you know, scooping yourself a dish of ice cream. That belly button scoops in and up under your diaphragm without collapsing the spine okay and but so the locks are always the first locks kind of engaged on the exhale but and the third locks always engage the neck lock but the second lock the stomach lock really gets engaged on the exhale it's like the, it's like you're really focusing on that second lock and I'm telling you if you and then there's a whole stomach churning and and it's really great for the digestive system and um and it even helps with hormone balance if you can lock it and lock that um Uddiyanda Vanda lock and do the stomach churning and it and it's it's a good healing practice for the organs in of itself but this is an introductory video on the locks we're not going to go into that right now unless I get a ton of requests, all right? So, um, anyways, so you're sitting straight, you engage your locks, you practice the ujjayi breath.
I don't know if you could see the engagement of Lydia and the Bondala. I certainly felt it. It takes a lot of effort. Okay, it's it's not. It it's something that takes a lot of work and a lot of effort and will strengthen you. It will. It's a very powerful way to strengthen your core, actually. All right. So thank you so much. Namaste.